Ahoy, mateys! Welcome back to Vote for Holt. It is October, and I am very excited to bring to you today the first episode of this series of Call of Cthulhu. Now, I know that I have a habit of talking on for way too long at the start of series, but please just give me a second this time. I'll make it quick. This game is uh, greatly inspired, directly inspired, as an adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's works. And if you don't know anything about H.P. Lovecraft, a brief history is that he was a horror author who wrote mostly in the 1920s and 30s, was a nobody in his lifetime, but after his death, his work really took off. You will probably know him for being the man behind the whole Cthulhu mythos of, uh, you know, these great big squid monsters and alien gods and all sorts of stuff like that. More or less, you could call Lovecraft the progenitor of the entire genre of cosmic horror, or as some people tend to call it, Lovecraftian horror. And really, his stories are all about strange supernatural goings-ons, people being haunted in their dreams and driven to insanity, and a vast mythology of weird alien gods. And that is what this game is hopefully going to be all about. It takes place in the 1920s. I am so excited. I started reading H.P. Lovecraft about two months ago, and I've already read a bunch of his stories, so I'm really excited to read more of him, and I have been on the edge of my seat waiting for October 1st, so I had a reason to play this game, because if I, if, I, if I had my way, I would have started this two months ago as soon as I got into my Lovecraft craze. So regardless, it's October 1st, Spooktober has begun, I'm sitting here with a warm mug of apple cider spiced with some cinnamon, and my headphones on, I've drawn the shades Crystal Skull style, and I am ready to jump into this spooky, Lovecraftian horror mystery adventure. Needless to say, this game is likely rated M, so uh, it's not going to be suitable for children. <laughs> I'm going to go and hit new game. I launched it up just to make sure it ran okay. And we'll go ahead and start a new one. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly, or risk losing his license. Okay, enough dramatic narration. So, for one thing, this game probably will have a lot of cutscenes, because it is a story-oriented game. I know very little about the gameplay past the first 30 minutes to an hour, so there's a lot that's still going to surprise me, as much as it probably will you. Uh, so I'm just going to try to be quiet when story-related events are happening and whatnot. But God, am I so excited. <laughs> I'm giddy. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Game saved. All right, we are in. Uh, wow. It is my understanding that this game takes the name Call of Cthulhu, which was a title of one of Lovecraft's stories, basically in name only, because, I mean, for, as far as this goes, having read that story now, it is uh, so far very different than whatever we're doing right now, because there was no sushi bar full of dead rotting sharks. So uh, we're definitely in a different story, which really excites me because I'm interested to find something new. Uh, looks like left trigger is to sprint. B is crouch. I'm playing this on Xbox, by the way, if you hadn't figured that out. If I tried to run this on my PC, it would probably just explode. Ooh, powder keg. I know a red barrel when I see one. Okay, maybe that's just a regular barrel. What do we have here? A chained gate. <laughs> I'm getting, like, sea caves vibes from Deception Island. Counter darkness. You must light up some areas to interact with them. Is this a lantern? Or do I need to bring a lantern here? Is that what it's telling me? <laughs> I still have a lot to learn. Here's a lantern. Give me that. Hurricane lamp. I actually just bought one of those as a prop. Ooh! Bolt cutter! 
Some pretty old bolt cutters for 1924, I must say. Smooth. Looks like we're underwater. It's so hazy. Is that a killer whale? God, it is. Lovecraft is very fond of New England. <laughs> and and ocean life along with that. You've probably noticed that. <laughs> what a putrid offering. Yeah, I'm not even gonna look at that whale. You have been chosen. Hold left trigger to run. What's through here? Everything has already been written. Is that us? Why are we one of them? Okay, I don't think that was us. I, ha I have a good suspicion that we're alive. I hate whiskey. <laughs> Ouch. I take that personally. Well, alright, so we're through the dream sequence, we've made it. Oh god, I am so freaking excited. Such a neat, such a neat office. I'm, I'm just gonna Married be. woman runs off with her girlfriend. Ogling at everything. Husband couldn't understand it. <laughs> Case closed for Mr. Pierce. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. Kept calling me for weeks after the investigation had closed. Oh, that's too sad. That's bad. Okay. I'm not sure how that helps us. Edward Pierce, private investigator. Lovecraft equally wrote horror and mystery. A lot of his stories do follow I used detectives. To be an avid reader. Oh, not anymore, I take it. Certificate of Membership, Wentworth Agency. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. <laughs> so we're more of a gumshoe, I'm guessing. I used to be an avid reader. Not anymore, though. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn off the radio. About to get copyright stricken from 1924. <laughs> uh, there's your damn demon drink right there. Oh, phone call. Boris Head Pub, this is Johnny. Wait, where's the phone? Oh, that is an old I'm piece listening. right there. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh, wait. No. Oh my gosh, it's an RPG. I totally forgot that this was a... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so we get to actually pick our playstyle. Okay, so I did actually start this game a long time ago. It was uh, just before the pandemic, and I was playing it with Kaylee. And then, wouldn't you know it, uh, the pandemic happened, so we weren't actually able to continue it. But since then, I've gotten way more into Lovecraft, and uh, I'm just way more excited to play it. And I totally forgot that there was a build-a-character. Uh, segment. Alright, uh, let's take a quick look. I'll go through each stat. Eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving the skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating during discussion. Strength it represents your ability to call on your physical power. Uh, chances of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence during interactive discussions. That's interesting, so I'm, I'm getting the impression that this is more of a choose-your-own-adventure game. Medicine uh, seems pretty straightforward. This is to... Ooh. Uh, no, you can actually... This isn't just healing yourself. This is about, like, finding medicine skill checks and, like, learning diagnoses of problems. I'm sorry, I probably pronounced that horribly. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving the skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts. The horror in clay vibes much. Uh, psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. 
Improving this increases your chances of understanding the motivations, so kind of skills of deduction. And then investigation is in the middle. So, I'm guessing everything comes around to this. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Improving the skills increases your chances of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object and of picking locks. Okay, picking locks too. Oh, okay, so these are my ranks and everything. I'm a professional in strength and investigation. What is spot hidden? Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving the skill increases your chances of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. So this will just straight up limit what I do and don't find throughout the game. Okay, uh, how many points do I have to give right now? Eight character points are available. Okay. Uh, six needed to move up on that. I'm going to take eloquence up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll bring that up to three, because I feel like talking to people and integration is going to be helpful. Strength is pretty good there. Uh, I'm tempted. I kind of want to do spot hidden. I have four. I'll bring, I'll bring up spot hidden. Spot hidden only needs two, because I want to find some cool stuff if I can help it. And then as for the other two character points... Uh, yeah, let's let's bump up one of these ones. I'm gonna try medicines, just so we can get it up to two. So we'll see how that goes for us. And validate. Do you want? Do you really want to validate this character points attribution? Yes, let's do it. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. Accepting fewer new cases. <laughs> so Work I've heard. Is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still. Ooh, that's us. I wish my beard looked like that. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, so we, we need work. Who is this fine gent? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Ouch. <laughs> You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new Oop. case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come Excuse to me... Excuse me. It means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Ooh. What is this going to be, like a Rorschach test? Ah, that looks familiar. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. He That's just wants us got? to... The painting? I appraise his daughter's art? Desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Huh. Your notebook details your current objectives. Examine the Hawkins file. Okay, a let's just have a look at this. Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out Warehouse 36 Darkwater. Would you stop blowing your horn out there? The police report, it says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide... 
on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a, they live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Huh. Nothing on the back. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Ooh. Okay, I gotta start learning what all these symbols are. Okay, this is investigation. This must be eloquence. This is an answer that I have unlocked. I wonder what that's about. Maybe psychology? Find out about Warehouse 36. Um, let's try this one. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Hmm. Well, tell me about this Warehouse 36. The sender's thing. label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Ooh. We have a job. Uh, okay, so we can end the conversation, but let's ask a little more. Uh, mental fragility. You tell me about tell that. Me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. Ooh, he no. looks accused. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Hmm. Where did Don't she live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Yes! Sarah lived there That's exactly where I want to go. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I mean, something's still kind of hinky here. Her husband here. was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe That's there is more to this case than just an accident. Well, that's all I need, I guess. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An How much do I get paid? <laughs> her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. New entry. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Was that supposed to Something's mean? queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Hmm. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I used to be an avid reader. Okay, but where's this book? Is it this one? The Learning of Medicine? Uh, hey, is this like a skill book? Will this teach, will this give me character points? Dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. Item obtained. Medicine progression. Okay, yeah, so that actually give me a skill point right there. Uh, or do I go to inventory to use it? Knowledge. Okay, inventory and knowledge. Um, so these are... Okay, look, look at this. We've got a couple of people in our... 
profile now of people who live in the town. So there's the husband of Charles Hawkins. He was 41 and he was a ship owner. And we have Sarah Hawkins, who was 33. She was a painter. And their son, Simon Hawkins. <laughs> His occupation was schoolboy. And uh, they're all dead. So that's unfortunate. But this is their wealthy businessman grandfather, Stephen Webster. Okay. Okay, so we have a main objective, which is just to leave for dark water, which... Yeah, we can just do that anytime. But we can also find a book. Dark water is off the coast of Here it is. <laughs> but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. Ooh. But it seems to have been shunned since then. I remember that we had to read uh, Revenge of the Whale in the seventh grade. <laughs> that was an interesting book. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. Off the coast of Massachusetts. Okay, All well, I'm I have excited. To do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to Darkwater. Can I get the radio going again? Nope, too late. <laughs> uh, oh. Have a drink or don't drink? <laughs> uh, ordinarily, I wouldn't, but I've got my apple cider here, so I'm going to let our boy Edward Pierce have a, a little one for the road. Mm. Yo, what the hell? This will affect your destiny? You're shitting me. Am I going to, like, get in a car crash on the way to the port now? Oh, man. I hope I, I hope I didn't seriously screw that up. Chapter 2, Darkwater Port. Oh my god, it looks so cool on the loading screen alone. Oh, and an achievement. The Sarah Hawkins case. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address. A warehouse set on the docks of the Island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. <laughs> Looks like that was merely the prologue. Scylla. I probably mispronounced that, but isn't that the name of one of the Greek mythology monster dogs or something? Maybe I'm totally wrong about that. <laughs> I'm probably totally wrong about that. Oh, I totally saw a skull in the smoke. Oh, that was that was spooky. I swear it was there. Like, rewind if you don't believe me. <laughs> Guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. <sighs> so, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story. 
all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. <laughs> Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Harbor Master. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. We have a Harbor Master here. I wonder if he knows who to vote for. <laughs> oh, man. Can I just talk to the passerbys? Good god, they all look so angry. He looks like a younger Captain Haddock from the Adventures of Tintin. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This place is delightfully spooky. Look at these freaking lanterns! What the hell is that? Is this dude fishing? Yeah. Any luck, buddy? Holy shit, it's Captain Haddock again. They're cloning him. This is like my perfect aesthetic right here. I love this shit. <laughs> Ooh. Something's... Holy shit! How did I miss that? We're not dreaming this time. That's a whole ass, dead ass killer whale. You can't do that. I can... I can give a medicine diagnosis on it? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. Uh, get those achievements out of my face. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. So my medicine wasn't high enough to get a back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. The hell's okay, let me you, I'm butting in. Move along. Uh Ooh. Oh, so we can side with the sailors or against the police? I'm inclined to trust the sailors in this Don't matter. Don't treat me like another one of these locals. You're completely overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. Oh, wait, no, What do you really. think? <laughs> that you can call a National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else, huh? Now, please... Allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't I think I messed that up. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna ask him about the warehouse. Oh, come on, no! Oh, I pissed him off. Now I can't even ask him. How about you, deputy? You got anything to say? <laughs> Don't put the... <laughs> you, you shysters. Good God. <laughs> These guys have the greatest vernacular. Okay, well, the stranded whale is calling to me. Ooh, what's going on over here? Little social gathering, lads? Bootlegger. <laughs> but you can stay to watch if you want. You can Nothing for you piece. here either. Come on, you bastard. Ooh. I don't need to go uh, pick in trouble with the criminal syndicates of Darkwater just yet. All right. A stranded whale or Fitzroy? Let's do the stranded whale first. Whoa, no load zone. Oh, well, there is a cutscene. <laughs> That's not courteous. <laughs> oh my god, that fucking death stare. <laughs> oh my god, that was menacing. I like this guy. We have a great player character. I have some heavy boots to fill with this uh badassery. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar we don't serve troublemakers. Seems like that's all you do serve. Fuck this guy. Oh, that no, I guy was looking for trouble. So choose your camp if you don't want the same treatment. Hey buddy, I don't want any trouble. So serve me a drink. Just to make things clear, only regulars can run up and tab. Others pay. 
Uh, hmm. So wait, so there's no prohibition? That's right. This is prohibition era, isn't it? I didn't it? expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. <laughs> I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Oh, uh, it's that woman. It's totally that woman. Uh, well, let's ask about this before we piss him off, you too. You know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see. Hawkins yeah. Warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? You're a good man, Roy Mitchell, and I'm sorry that I was mean to you. I'll have that drink Captain now. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Small glass. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. That is a dark liquor. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be nice to Roy from now on. That's a cool dude. Now he's making a nasty face. <laughs> uh... Before we go, what's the local scoop? What can you tell me? What's with the stranded whale? I'm gonna know the that. The stranded whale. I guess this oh, bar I... has been here a long time. I thought we were talking what about the, the actual whale. I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. <laughs> ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. And, uh, I guess Sarah Hawkins, too. tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. <laughs> Ouch. And I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh... It's true that they were strange. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah, well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've only seen the one. I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all, Roy. You take care. That'll be all for now. Okay. Uh, whoa, harpoon gun. Damn, that shit looks crazy. I'm such a land lover myself. I love the ocean and the lakes, but God, I don't get enough out of it very much. Asylum staff? What did he think? He laughed. My. Ugh, looks like we're going to an asylum sooner or later. Who's this fella? Nightmares. Algernon? Things and voices whispering. We'll follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. That might as well just be an excerpt from one of his stories. I'm not sure. Hey, lads, how you doing? like our song? Sure I do. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Huh. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. <laughs> they all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. Huh. I've noticed that all the locals here seem to have very distinct noses. 
That's cool. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Where's the proof? Ooh. Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. <laughs> Generational memories of whale meat. I can only imagine. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. All right, well, I better have a look at this now. Uh, yeah, that must be the framed newspaper. The miraculous catch. Apparently... The Scylla! The most significant event of the last 80 years. Or the Skyla, perhaps. I don't know. I don't speak Greek. Uh, but that was the ship that was out front. We had given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port. Late on Tuesday afternoon, the locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales, the cetacean that is already being called the Miraculous Catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine for worm from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent? Mr. Marks is putting up a warehouse for rent? For fishing? I, I guess that's not important. Special evening at the Stranded Whale. Aww. This place kind of reminds me of Skiprot in a weird way. Where's that lady who gave us that weird look? Is this her back here? That's the lady. Hello, lady. What you looking at, stranger? Hmm. <laughs> she can certainly put him away. Nothing at all. I don't want to flirt with her. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. Okay, okay that sounded like flirting. Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. All right. Looks like she doesn't want to talk. I can respect that. Who's this guy? Her handler? She in the mob or something? Oh, look at the fireplace. God, I love a good open fireplace. I saw that strength is a thing, so I'm not sure if combat has a part in this game. But if it does, maybe I can, like, loot weapons. Ooh, there's a back room, but it's locked up. I can lockpick, though, can't I? Maybe once I get a lockpicking kit. Uh, so far, this has given me pretty strong vibes of sh the Shadow over Innsmouth, which I'm actually, like, 40 pages into. I'm almost done with it. That's a really good Lovecraft story. But, um... Except everyone here is actually a lot more friendly than they are in that book. So that's cool. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Oh, these are the tabs. So look at that. He had a long tab that was unpaid. And so did Captain Fitzroy. Actually, no. Fitzroy's tab is only like 12 bucks. That's not bad. Well, let's go talk with Fitzroy. Let's go collect the debt. Fitzroy should be up here with the Harbor Master. I do want to meet the Harbor Master. Or is Fitzroy the Harbor Master? Maybe I just didn't listen to him well enough. Hello. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, this... you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. So he got his hand on his gun? What is that? No, he just keeps his hand there. All right. Uh, on the table next to us. Does that mean over here? I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. I'm sensing that Cat is the lady we just spoke to in there who's a bit bristly. And by that rationale, she might also be the she, the bootlegger, the bootlegger, not bootlicker, that, uh... Mitchell referred to. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. 
We wanted this information to be here. Now, hold up. Blacked out manifests says a lot more than boring manifests. There's something they were hiding on that. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. So that's the famous ship from the Miraculous Catch. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. God, I gotta go fishing again. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this oh. blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Oh, it's details to catch. I know that, like, you know, hunting the whales to extinction is a bad thing, of course, but it's pretty interesting that whaling used to be an industry that kept entire islands and seaside cities alive. It's almost like, you know, the stories of cavemen who would go on massive mammoth hunts where a single kill could feed the entire population for the better half of a year. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. Oh, hey. Uh, does this mean I'm going to get more medicine stuff? Medicine progression. I think that just gave me some more points. Yeah. I'm at 24%. Do I have any skill points I can throw around? Oh, medicine and occult can only be improved by finding things in the environment. That is interesting. How about sanity? Ooh. Let me read up on this real quick. It says we, what, suffer from night terrors, and our condition is currently stable. We just need sleeping pills and liquor to ward off nightmares. Okay, that sounds pretty typical of uh, most Lovecraftian stories. <sighs> what else is up here? Looks awfully spooky. All the lights in this town burn very sickly green. What's the deal with that? This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Captain Fitzroy. I mean, it says it's him. A man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. Oh, well, Captain Fitzroy doesn't have a wooden leg, does he? New clue memorized. So there's a difference between memorizing a clue and actually taking the evidence with you. That's cool. What a macabre souvenir. That's the leg! Whoa. That was an interesting pronunciation. What do you say? Macabre? Oh, macabre souvenir. Wow. I thought most people I know just say macabre. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but still. What's in here? Nothing, I guess. What a macabre souvenir. <laughs> Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I like that there's no wind. It's just like stagnant still water. And look at these reefs. That shit is creepy. I guess there's nothing else. Just a little shortcut door. Alright, yeah, Fitzroy asked us to speak with him out on the dock. Actually, you know, maybe we can give a diagnosis on that whale now that we found another piece of medicine journal. I'm curious. They can't understand. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not safe. Nah, that didn't really help. It's a sign. There's something coming. You shysters. Where did Fitzroy go? Oh, there he is. What the hell, dude? I walked right past you. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. So this guy is going to be our ally. Nice, I like him. <laughs> yeah, your documents suck, Their though. Their manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. <laughs> and why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I mean, yeah, there were a lot of dates happening. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. <laughs> I can respect that. Uh, how about the warehouse? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. 
The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You Ooh. can't miss it. Well, that's nice Understood. and straightforward. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Charles Hawkins, right? Uh, so this is an unlocked answer because we figured it out. Otherwise, this would not be here. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Uh, okay, well, we know where it is. Let's just chat about Darkwater a bit. Uh, what's up with the killer whale on the wharf? I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Uh, what would have killed Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. Ooh. You're talking about mythology. Ooh. Uh, indeed, you're right. So why are they putting it back in the sea? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Hmm. So we've got a whale killer on the loose. Ooh, we can ask about cat. I found a threatening letter. Oh, speaking of cat. cat. <laughs> what? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Oh, that was Are kind of black private, black? wasn't it? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. Those With damn MCC. shysters. I wouldn't say that. She terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. All right, we already know about the miraculous catch. Miraculous catch. I don't want to bring up the photograph yet. I feel like that might be a little too sensitive for him. Also, uh, speaking of cat, yeah, my cat just jumped up on my desk, and I'm trying to safely relocate him so that he doesn't start rubbing his face on the mic. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right, let's get out to the warehouse. I want to have a couple looks at that. Hey, the whale is dispersed. Or at least they moved it a bit. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Yeah, you oh, poor yeah. shysters. Who's, gonna get us into trouble? Who's this bloke? Where do you Eddie's... think you're going? Uh... Oh, is he blocking? The... He's blocking the warehouse, isn't he? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Hmm. That's, uh... He's acting a little suspicious. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. All right, that's what where we're going next. <laughs> the only one left there is old Silas, and the Ooh. accident has affected him badly. Who is this Silas character? Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No. He's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. All right. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to crash down. That was kind of weird. Uh, so Silas is now a character we've heard about. I don't think I can talk to these... Oh, no, I can talk to them. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We Drunkard. saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. All right, I'll bite. Who the hell is Saint Brendan? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Really? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you 
our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back <laughs> and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's always the Midnight in Salem idle animation. <laughs> what brings you to dark water? Oh, I'm just investigating the Hawkins' death. Actually, I don't need to tell these guys that. I've Go screw yourself. Of your time. We'll see you later. Yeah, we don't need to be telling everyone we're poking into. That might get us in trouble. Is that St. Brendan out there, then, at the end of the jetty? What, did he get defaced or something? Hmm. Ooh, we can pick this lock. Damnation. I broke it. Okay, so maybe we can't pick that lock. At least not right now. But there is a little boathouse that's open. Or openable. Ooh. There's writing on it. That shit's kind of creepy. Saint Occultism. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Anything of notice over here? No. I doubt we're going to get to go for a swim anytime soon, so I might as well just stay away from the water. Alright, let's go have a look at these two bozos over here. These guys, I take it, are suspected of something. Hang on, can I crouch and sneak in here? I can. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even. And don't go look in there. We're eavesdropping. Something hidden in his house on the How docks? Could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I Ooh. don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. So, these are two lowlifes who sound like they're working for Cat. And I'm like 90% sure Cat's the lady in the bar. Hey, fellas, what's going on? This guy. <laughs> you better keep it shut. <laughs> you know what? You know what, real quick? Um, I just saw something. Don't I have some more points I can I can throw around? Yeah, uh, two skill points available. Let's throw someone to strength. I feel, like, I feel like we might need a little bit of intimidation for these guys. Conscious. All right, fellas. Quiet. Let's have let's have a What's chat. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Get the you fuck out of my way. <laughs> soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Uh, that. I don't think we have the eloquence for that. I'm tempted. I I mean, it's gonna. I'm gonna look like a dumbass if I fail a speech test. But if we say the cat sent me. They're not going to believe me, but I'm going to do it anyways. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? Because you guys are she too... She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! No proof to back we, uh... Claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. Wait. But we heard about them. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another one. No, no, we heard them. We heard them talking about nefarious stuff from right outside this window. Why can't we use that against them? What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw All right. talking to the two soap. Okay, okay, yes, skip, skip. Uh, investigate them. If we ask any more questions, it'll be a dead giveaway that we don't actually work for Cat. Let's go have another chat with Cat then. If I can't I get won't... rid of those two, I'll have to look for another one. Okay, so we've got a couple paths here we can take. I kind of want to go speak with Cat again. Because maybe she'll drop something we can use to convince them that we're on the level. Hey, the bootleggers have dispersed. Maybe I can go down that way. Uh, alleyway or Cat? Alleyway? You know what? Let's try Cat again. Maybe we need to make a better impression on her. What? Another break? I told you to beat it. No, I want to know more things. I told you to beat it. Oh, come I on! Beat it. it still says she's just the mysterious woman. But she's got some more people here that weren't here before. Those are the bootleggers in the alley, I'll bet. Alright, fair enough. 
Prohibition is just a joke around here. <laughs> that suits me. <laughs> Look at that. They have a Prohibition announcement on the, on the front of their saloon. It's actually kind of funny. Great visual storytelling. Environmental storytelling. All right. Let's go down the spooky alleyway. I sure hope nothing bad happens. Oh, I just saw that dude. We've got a car over here. How big can this island be? I feel like no one would need a car. Who's this chap? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. You're not scared of their boss? Yeah, who is this guy? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. Ooh. That's a bit spooky. A bit ominous. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I think Fitzroy told me enough. I shall take my leave. All right. There's got to be some way we can finagle into here. Okay, yeah, this room is screaming puzzle. Give me a second. Is there anything else in this alleyway? Spot in it allows you to detect items hidden in a close proximity. All right, yeah. Looks like we've got some sort of convoluted puzzle in here. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Oh, we're going through the tunnels. Okay, where does this pulley lead to? A winch up there. Can I get up there? A whale vertebra. If the oh, newspaper sh clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Wow. That would probably sell for a lot if you brought it to the pawn shop from Pawn Stars. <laughs> hey, a ladder. That's what I need. And there was my dumbass looking for a staircase. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's missing a crank, isn't it? That's what I thought. Alright, there's a crank hidden somewhere. Time to find it. Ratchet device. Enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without a risk. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Does that go on to here? Or does it go up top? Crank. We got a crank. Or a lever. This handle will be perfect for the winch. All right. Time to get resourceful. Uh, mount the ratchet device. And then the handle. Let's do it. No. Let me, let me crank it. Maybe I need another piece. I need a gear, don't I? Yeah, there's a missing piece. Ooh, look, I can pop up my lighter. And I found the cogwheel. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Okay, how did I how did I bring my lighter out? Because that's kind of cool. Alright, turn it. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. You don't say. Ooh, that's a little loud. Damn, I broke it. Wait, really? Oh no. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Like, actually, what do we do? I guess I wasn't strong enough? Or was I too strong and just snapped it like a twig? Well, well. Oh, shit. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also <laughs> stupid. What gave okay. you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Well, basically, it's my job. Uh. Stick to your guns, Pierce. Don't look like an this idiot. This muddy alley is yours? Good for you. You've got work to do. <laughs> I don't think that you've quite understood the situation. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Ooh, 
I'm shaking in my baby seal leather boots. Okay, attack her. Just, can I actually attack her? Ooh! Too slick for you, cat. What's the matter? Oh shit, we gave her a black eye. <laughs> if you've broken my nose. I was careful. This time. Do you want us to take care of him, cat? No. <laughs> Not yet. Oh my no, god, wait. Nerve. And you've got a fairly good right. I'm always on the lookout for well-built guys to work for me. Did we just make, make a friend? Please do. <laughs> I'm Cat. I run the neighborhood. Everyone marches to my tune here. Rather than foolishly risking your skin, come and see me in the bar one of these days. We can talk about what I can do for you. And what you can do for me. What the hell? That was... That came out way better than I expected it to. We gave her a Kit Foley style shiner and she didn't kill us on the spot. I think she, I think she actually likes us now. She actually kind of scared the shit out of me. I came out of the warehouse and was just like, uh-oh. <laughs> well, damn, how am I supposed to get in now? Maybe it would have let me in if I didn't have such shit strength stats. Maybe she'll just give us permission to go through there now. You know what? No, let's go tell those guys. I just beat the shit out of your boss. Let me through. <laughs> What's hey, with fellas. You wandering around here like a hungry skull uh, I literally just trounced your boss. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. <laughs> but he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> so I'm guessing the cat knows right away that we are a newcomer. Because I'm, there's, there's a very particular look to the locals. I think it's time to talk business. No hard feelings. For a lucky little blow? You think I gotta be boss of these lads without taking any hits? I was too soft with you. Next time, I'll hit first. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? Uh, screw it. Cat actually seems like kind of a cool person. We'll be honest with her. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth, so openly but it's also really stupid of you yeah let me give you a little advice if you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole avoid talking about them to the first people you meet well excuse me for having honor uh well just get me into the warehouse i need to get into the hawkins warehouse you're out of luck it's on my turf it's precisely for that reason that i've come to see you are you pulling my leg? Okay, we can be... We can just, like, totally ease off on her. We can be mean, or... Let's let's go middle of the road. Get over. I've seen what you're capable of. You almost got me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Ooh, we have a ride-along. How I'm about not that? Finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Ooh. I feel like we have to, because the alternative would probably be to blackmail her guards by finding whatever they hid in that shack, and we already broke our lockpick. So ordinarily, I don't like owing people, but I guess we have no choice. Do I have a choice? No, we, we don't. We always have one, detective. Follow me. People here know who they're dealing with. They watch their step. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. 
And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. So Bradley's a big character then, here in the police department. Ah, look at this. They're standing aside for us now. Isn't that funny? It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's right, shithead. <laughs> you work for me now. <laughs> Broken ladders. Haphazardly pasted sheet metal. Be a gentleman and move that for me. <sighs> All right. Ooh, she can lockpick. I wonder why she doesn't just use That's the key to her own lock. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Nice. So we're on our own again. Well, I guess we are going to have to get her back down the line. Ugh, this place stinks. Ugh. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To enter a reconstruction scene with LT and RT. Whoa. Detective mode or something? Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Maybe her father? Psychology. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Oh, someone was staying in here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? I can't tell if this is supposed to be Sarah or not that we're seeing. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Sleeping pills of some sort. Holy it shit! It smells as bad as it looks. What is that? Just a bucket of chum spilled all over the place? Medicine. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Do we have confirmation that the whole family died in the fire? Kind of sounds like one of them could have, like, faked their death or something and has, like, bad burns and now he just hides out here and stays doped up on painkillers. And a what broken mirror? Here? Yeah. That seems even more likely now. Maybe he's, like, scarred and disfigured. And so he doesn't want to see himself. Am I right about this? If I, <laughs> Maybe I'm just an idiot again. But, uh, I feel like I could be onto something. We have a deformed, wealthy character who can afford painkillers, but doesn't want people to know he's here, or maybe even alive. Hawkins Warehouse memorized. One character point earned. I think I'll hold on to that until I decide what I want it for. All right. Interesting. What all can we learn from this? Settled in here. Oh shit! And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move. The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. <sighs> Dude looks like Chris Walker from Outlast. Okay. Um, strength, probably not. St Ooh. The case is far from being wound up. Do we have... Maybe it's not a bad idea to try to team up with the local police. This Bradley dude is not a friend of Kat's, though, but he is very stubborn. I wonder if he'd tolerate us. Let's start off by presenting our case. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and fairly. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. 
It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? He looks like the Joker without makeup. I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, oh. Would you please shut the door? So he's working with us now. This guy went right on the Again. Oh no, cat, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I swear. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. <sighs> too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Looks like you've met your match, Baker. I'd like to see that more often. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion? <laughs> get this jackass out of here before I stroke his other cheek. But we'll meet again. Oh, so she's why he has that scar. Mansion. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on. We got some driving to do. Whoa. Looks pretty intact, having burnt down, apparently. And chapter three. Okay, this seems like it'll probably be a great place to pick up next time. Damn, that looks so cool, though. It looks like it's gonna be, like, Blackmore Manor on steroids. I'll read the synopsis for next time, but otherwise, uh... Oh, man. I'm really enjoying this game so far. We're just two chapters in, but... It's a new mystery for me, and I'm excited, and it looks like there's a lot of different choose-your-own-adventure vibes going on. Uh, if anyone in the comments is a fan of Lovecraft, because I know that there are some of the discords, I'd be happy to take some recommendations for more stories of his. And I'd also be happy to take more recommendations in general for uh, good Halloween-time spooky games I can play on the channel. I'm really open to anything. So, uh, otherwise, thanks for sticking around, everybody, and don't forget to vote for Holt.